I'm going to run you through a few features that are standard on our welding bays but are not standard on a lot of other welding bays either in the UK or in the rest of the world and um, well you'll get to see what the benefits of them are and why we do it and um, you can make your own judgment. Starting off in the weld bay here one of the things that's most obvious straight away we've got on here above going out we've got these weld fume extraction arms which take a lot of the welding fumes away we've actually got um, two in this bay there's another one just here and the, the trunking takes it up and you can see it ports it ports it out to the building every single bay we've got here has you can see it there at least five ton overhead drainage we've got a very strong very very strong thick weld table um, proper old school those are and then on the floor you can see down here the whole bay is full of hard ox plating and the reason we do that is quite often it's necessary to weld the bigger attachments on the floor when you're loading them on and off the bench on and off the floor you can damage a concrete floor with an excavator bucket obviously or an excavator attachment quite easily and the plates just really just save the floor make it safe because the floor isn't cut up with holes and um, you know a tripping hazard then over here every bay has the same sort of welding set that you can see just there all the weld sets are the same in all of the weld bays we've standardized on weld sets ESAB and they are marathon pack wire fed so the wire feeds straight in through the gun um, from that pack it's about a kilometre of wire in there, I think. We've got a decent tool station for the fabricator here. So we've got the weld, the weld bench. We've also got weld trestles there, um, and a whole load of other kit, grinding and other tools, just to make life a bit easier for them. And all the bays have got LED lighting, which helps the fabricator see a bit better what they're doing. Now you may have noticed there was something missing from the welding bay on the previous shots and it's probably the most important ingredient and that is the welder fabricator and I'm going to show you a few bits here so as we're looking at the back of the welder fabricator here you can see we've got a respirator mask which takes a lot more of the fumes out locally to the welder so he's getting clean air as well to the supply and that is one way that we differ from some of the other fabrication work. Now, Sam, <laughs> can you answer a couple of questions for me? Yes. Can you first off tell me what country we're in? We are in Britain. That's it, yeah, yeah. We're not pretending. No, we really are. We really are, yeah. And the second thing is, uh, do you live here on the factory site? No, I do not. So we do actually let yeah, you go so over get to go home, yeah. So there we go, yeah. Big difference, yeah. yeah. Great. Well, thank you. I don't want to keep you from your uh, tea break, no, so I'll uh, let you crack on. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. 